वेलकाम टू एन पी टी एल मुक्स कोर्स अन मेसिन लार्णिंग एंड डीप लार्णिंग फांडामेन्टेल्स एंड एप्लीकेशनस इन माई आर्लियर क्लासेस आई डिसकास द कन्सेप्ट अफ लिनियर रिग्रेशन लिनियर रिग्रेशन इज नाथिंग बट फिटिंग अफ ए लाइन और फिटिंग अफ ए कार्व और पलिनमियल विटुईन द सेम्पल पॉइंट्स टूडे आई एम गोयिंग टू डिसकास द कन्सेप्ट अफ लजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन लिनियर रिग्रेशन हेन्डल्स द प्रब्लेम अफ रिग्रेशन अन द आदार हेन्ड लजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन हेन्डल्स द प्रब्लेम अफ क्लासिफिकेशन सो इट इज ए क्लासिफिकेशन प्रब्लेम एंड लजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इज ए स्टेटिस्टिकल मडल हुईज केन एनालज एंड प्रेडिक द आउटकामस अब ए बैनेर इभेन्ट एंड देट इज द फांडामेन्टेल कन्सेप्ट अब द लजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन सो इट इज ए स्टेटिस्टिकल मडल हुईज केन एनालज एंड प्रेडिक द आउटकामस अब ए बैनेर इभेन्ट सो देट इज द फांडामेन्टेल कन्सेप्ट अब द लजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन सो लेट आस स्टार्ट दिस क्लास Uh, we will mainly discuss the concept of the classification and the concept of the logistic regression so what is actually the classification so classification problem uh, actually already i have discussed uh, i can define like this goal is to learn a mapping from input is x from input x to outputs y so input is x and output is y and where y i am considering c number of classes 1 2 c so you can see the goal is to learn a mapping from input x to output y and y i am considering a c number of classes so where c is the number of classes so that is the definition of a classification and suppose if i consider c is equal to 2 that means only two classes are considered that means it is a binary classification problem so binary classification so corresponding to c is equal to 2 it is a binary classification that means y has only two outcomes or values 0 and 1 so only two classes and if i consider c is greater than 2 and if i consider c is greater than 2 that is actually the multi class classification multi class classification so the logistic regression uh, considers this classification problem linear regression considers the fitting of a line or the fitting of a curve or fitting of a polynomial between the sample points so how to consider this classification problem by logistic regression let us discuss about this so move to the next slide so in this case i am showing one example the example is given body mass index this is also called bmi does a patient have type 2 diabetes so type 2 diabetes t 2d suppose so this type 2 diabetes depends on uh, the body mass index so what is actually the body mass index bmi is actually uh, uh, body mass divided by square of the body height 
so that means body mass divided by square of the body height and the unit will be kg per meter square so this is the definition of the uh, bmi now uh, the condition is uh, our input is the bmi and we have to determine whether the patient have type uh, type 2 diabetes or not that i have to determine so for this problem uh, can we use the linear regression concept so in this figure you can see i am showing bmi the body mass index and also the t2d that is the type 2 diabetes and you can see i am showing the sample points so corresponding to body mass index this corresponding to the body mass index this this you can see the type 2 uh, type 2 diabetes is 0 and corresponding to the body mass index if you see here this body mass index corresponding to this the type 2 diabetes is 1 that means it is a binary classification problem so t2d it may be 0 or it may be 1 based on the bmi the body mass index so whether this problem can be considered by linear regression formulation that we have to see so suppose uh, i have some readings like this the bmi versus type 2 diabetes so i have some data suppose bmi is 23 and the type 2 diabetes is 0 that means uh, there is no uh, type 2 diabetes suppose body mass index is 26 then type 2 diabetes is 1 that means uh, the patient has diabetes and similarly uh, if i consider another uh, uh, another input 16 type 2 diabetes is 0 and like this i have this data suppose 31 that means corresponding to the body mass index 30 the type 2 diabetes is 1 so you can see i am plotting these points suppose and and you can see it is a binary classification problem so you can see here we have two variables one is the x and another one is y x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable dependent variable so here x is a x is the independent variable and y is the independent variable so if i consider bmi i can consider it as x that is the independent variable and if i consider the type 2 diabetes then this i can consider as output and this output is y that is the dependent variable so whether this problem can be considered by considering the linear regression that is the classification as a regression so let us consider this problem so here you can see uh, i am considering the same problem that is i am showing the bmi versus type 2 diabetes now we are considering it as a linear regression problem so for this uh, we can find or we can fit a line uh, between these data points so you can see what is the importance of the logistic regression you can understand now the classification is considered as a regression so in this case if i consider it as a regression problem i have to fit a line i have to fit a line or maybe hyperplane hyperplane to this data points to data so corresponding to this we have to find the weights so if i uh, see this figure you can see this line i am getting that is the uh, from linear regression i can get this line between the sample points between the data points and you can see i have i have to find the weights so w is the weight weight is already in my linear regression class 
I have shown it can be obtained like this phi t phi inverse phi t t is the target vector. So, this expression already I have shown in my uh, lecture in linear regression. So, that is also it is equivalent to actually x transpose x inverse x t and y. So, I have to determine the weights, the weight is w and you can see I am determining the base fit line, this is the base fit line between the data points. Now, if I consider this line for classification, so what will happen? I have to estimate y corresponding to x, x is my input and y I have to estimate. So, I have to estimate y that is the output and it has two outcomes either 1 or 0. So, 1 means uh, the patient has diabetes and 0 means the patient has no diabetes. So, that is the interpretation of this. So, y test we can determine from the weight vector w t and input is x test. So, I can determine uh, uh, the y test and how to do the prediction? So, prediction we can do like this, uh, the prediction will be predict yes that means the patient has diabetes if y test is greater than suppose 0.5. So, in the figure I have shown it is the 0.5 is here. So, I can say the prediction is yes if y test is greater than 0.5. And also you can see the predict no if no means the patient has no diabetes. So, if no that means y test is less than y test is less than 0.5. So, this is the decision criteria. So, predict yes if y test is greater than equal to 0.5 and predict no if y t s is less than 0.5. So, if I consider this one here you can see uh, this sample sample number 1, sample number 2, okay, sample number 3, sample number 4, sample number 5 and sample number 6. So, these samples will be correctly classified. So, these samples will be correctly classified and so we have to see which are the samples which are not correctly classified. So, here you can see this sample and also this sample these are not correctly classified by this uh, principle. So, that means I can say it is a misclassification. So, you can see the sample number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they are correctly classified this regression line. Uh, so, line is defined by the weight vector, but the sample points I can show the sample points 7 and 8, these are not correctly classified by this principle that is the misclassification. Uh, corresponding to the point 1, uh, the prediction is yes, corresponding to the point 2, the prediction is yes like this corresponding to the point 3 the prediction is uh, no corresponding to the point 4 the prediction is no but if you see uh, corresponding to the point 7 it should be actually yes but now the predicted is as a no so it is predicted as no and corresponding to the sample point 8 uh, there is a also misclassification so in this case you can see for these two sample points 7 and 8 uh, we have misclassifications so, you can see you can see that linear regression is not possible to solve this problem. So, that is why we have to consider logistic regression. So, what is the, the fundamental principle of the logistic regression? So, let us move to the next slide. So, logistic regression 
because you have seen that uh, there is a misclassification. So, now we are uh, we are considering the logistic regression for this problem and this is the probabilistic approach to classification. So, I can say the probabilistic approach to classification. So, the probability of y is equal to 1 given x. So, we are determining like this and corresponding to this what is f x. So, what f x I should consider? So, for this I am considering one logistic function that is f s is equal to 1 1 divided by e to the power minus s. So, this function and uh, this is very uh, similar to the sigmoid function actually it is a sigmoid function we are considering. So, based on this logistic function we can consider the logistic regression model. So, what is the logistic regression model? Logistic regression model. So, the, my model is the probability of y is equal to 1 that is output is 1 given x. So, it is 1 1 plus e to the power minus w transpose x. We are considering this model that is that this model is called the logistic regression model. So, in this model you can see I am considering a linear term inside the sigmoid function. So, this function, this function is nothing but the sigmoid function and in this uh, formulation of the logistic regression model, we are considering a linear term w transpose x that is a linear term, linear term inside the sigmoid function. So, this is in the figure I have shown uh, one example of the uh, sigmoid function that is the f s. So, in the x direction I am plotting s and in y direction I am plotting f s that is the logistic function that is the sigmoid function. And in the expression of the logistic regression model you can see uh, we are considering a linear term inside the sigmoid function. Based on this logistic model can I do the classification? So, the, the previous problem again we are considering and with the help of this logistic regression model can I classify because the problem is the binary classification problem. So, let us move to the next slide. So, you can see uh, the problem is the this problem the probability of y is equal to 1 given x that is equal to 1. 1 plus e to the power minus w transpose x. So, in my in my previous slide I have shown this one this is the logistic regression model. So, here you can see if I consider this uh, sigmoid function this is a sigmoid function. So, with the help of this sigmoid function I can perfectly classify all the samples. So, you can see this sample number 1, sample number 2, sample number 3, sample number 4, sample number 5, sample number 6, sample number 7 and sample number 8. So, all these sample points are correctly classified. So, you can see if it is greater than 0.5 the prediction is yes, if it is less than 0.5 then the prediction is no. So, that means we can perfectly classify all the sample points. And in this case one important point is we are not using the measure the sum of squared error for fitting. In case of the linear regression we consider the sum of squared error condition for fitting of a line or fitting of a polynomial. But in this case we are not considering this measure the measure is the sum of squared errors. So, that is uh, we are not considering. 
So, you can see perfectly we can do the classification with this uh, logistic regression model. So, that is the fundamental concept of the logistic regression. So, now let us discuss about the formulation of this problem. So, linear regression assumes a normal distribution with a fixed variance and, and mean given by the linear model. So, uh, in case of the linear regression that already we have discussed, we considered normal distribution with a fixed variance and mean given by by a linear model. So, actually uh, this mathematically I can represent like this probability of y given x. So, it is actually a normal distribution. So, mean is given by a linear model w transpose x and variance is sigma square. The concept is like this, we have this sample points in case of the linear regression and the problem is fitting of a line or fitting of a curve between the sample points. So, if you consider this uh, distribution of this data, so that we can consider as normal distribution. And after this, we considered the measure, the sum of squared error we considered for determining the best fit line or for determining the best fit curve or the polynomial. We consider that measure that is the sum of squared error. But in case of the logistic regression, uh, we have to consider the Bernoulli distribution. So, let us move to the next slide. In case of the logistic regression, in case of the logistic regression, we considered the Bernoulli distribution. So, uh, this Bernoulli distribution we are considering with parameters given by logistic transform of linear model. In case of the logistic regression, we consider a Bernoulli distribution with parameter given by logistic transform of a linear model. So, mathematically I can represent like this probability of y given x. So, it is the Bernoulli distribution y theta x is equal to. So, theta x is nothing but the uh, that logistic regression model. So, you can see it is a Bernoulli distribution and we are considering theta x is equal to the is equal to 1 divided by 1 e to the power minus omega 3 x that is nothing but the logistic regression model. So, this Bernoulli distribution is defined like this the probability of 1 is equal to theta and probability of 0 is given by 1 minus theta that is the uh, Bernoulli distribution and for theta I have two values theta is either 0 or 1. So, equivalently I can write the probability of y is equal to theta to the power y 1 minus theta 1 minus y for y again output has two values 0 and 1 because I have only the binary outcomes either 0 or 1. So, that is the concept of the logistic regression and we are considering the Bernoulli distribution. Now, let us consider about the training. So, how to do the training in case of the logistic regression. So, logistic regression is a supervised technique and we have to do the training and training we can consider as 
maximizing likelihood estimation so maximizing so that i can write the training i can consider as maximizing likelihood estimation so that is the maximum likelihood estimation assuming independence of probability of data so based on this i can write the probability of y1 up to yn given x1 x2 up to xn is equal to because we are considering the independence condition so it is a product i is equal to 1 to n the probability of yi given xi okay and if i consider the bernoulli distribution so in case of the bernoulli distribution probability of yi given xi it will follow the bernoulli distribution so theta xi yi 1 minus theta xi to the power 1 minus yi so where theta x is nothing but the the regression model the logistic regression model 1 plus e to the power minus w transpose x so you can see so training means we have to maximize this expression the expression number one suppose if i consider expression and uh, this expression expression is suppose one so training means i have to maximize the expression number one with respect to the weight vector w so to consider this so instead of maximizing the likelihood we may consider minimizing negative log likelihood so what is the negative log likelihood uh, i will explain in my next slide so what is the negative log likelihood this is actually log i is equal to 1 to n probability of y i given x i this multiplication is converted into addition because we are considering the log i is equal to 1 to n log y i given x i and that is also equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n log theta x i y i 1 minus theta x i 1 minus y i just i am putting the values and that is from the Bernoulli and distribution I am just putting the value so that is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n y i log theta x i plus 1 minus y i log 1 minus so you can see this mathematics is a very simple mathematics so what is the negative log likelihood it is nothing but the summation i is equal to 1 to n y i minus 1 w transpose x i minus log 
1 plus e to the power minus w transpose x i so this is the negative log likelihood nll so this is the uh, training principle we have to consider minimizing the negative log likelihood so this minimization problem we can consider from the cross entropy point of view so let us see what is the cross entropy so we can also determine the cross entropy uh, what is the cross entropy so that is minimizing from cross entropy cross entropy point of view so from this point of view i can also consider this problem so cross entropy is a method for comparing two distributions and the cross entropy is a measure of a divergence between a reference distribution and the estimated distribution so i can write here cross entropy is a measure of a divergence between a reference distribution and an estimated distribution so cross entropy already i told you so it is a method for comparing two distributions so mathematically how to write this one h that is the cross entropy one distribution is z and another one is z hat so z is the reference distribution here z is the reference distribution and z hat is the estimated distribution so this is equal to summation a belongs to a z a that is the reference distribution log z hat a and a i have only two outcomes zero or one so i can write like this so for logistic regression minimizing negative log likelihood can be considered as minimizing cross entropy so i can write like this uh, for logistic regression what is the case minimizing nll that is the negative log likelihood can be considered as minimizing cross entropy so mathematically i can show like this z1 is equal to suppose yi and z0 is suppose 1 minus yi and z hat 1 I can consider as theta x i and z hat 0 I can consider as 1 minus theta x i. So I can consider like this. So that means we can also consider the cross entropy measure. So we have to minimize the cross entropy and based on this we can do the training. So this is about the training of the logistic 
regression model. So, the problem is there is no close from solution. So, that is why we have to consider iterative methods. So, maybe we can consider stochastic gradient descent algorithm and that already I have discussed. So, this type of algorithms we can consider for getting the uh, minimization uh, or for solving the minimization problem because there is no close from solution and the problem is strictly convex that is the good news. The good news is the problem is uh, it is convex. So, convex uh, it is like the convex. So, we can apply some iterative techniques like uh, the stochastic gradient descent algorithms to get the solution. So, it is a convex problem. So, how to do the predictions finally, I can show uh, how to do the prediction in case of the logistic regression. So, how to do the prediction uh, with the help of this logistic regression model. So, prediction we can do. So, if we threshold the output probability at 0.5, we can consider a decision rule. The decision rule will be something like this y hat x is equal to 1. So, my rule is like this the probability y is equal to 1 given x is greater than 0.5. So, this is the uh, my decision rule and based on this I can uh, take a classification decision. So, corresponding to this figure you can see we have considered the sigmoid function and with the help of this function you can see all the samples I can correctly classify and in this case the threshold is considered as 0 0.5. So, uh, the output will be 1 if the probability of y is equal to 1 given x is greater than 0 0.5. So, that is the fundamental principle of and the logistic regression. But the limitation is it cannot consider nonlinear data. So, the problem is cannot consider cannot deal I can write con cannot deal with nonlinear data. So, that is the one problem and also it is not very robust to out layers. So, another problem I can mention uh, not very robust to out layers. And also the problem of the overfitting. So, sometimes overfitting may take place. So, I can write prone to overfitting. So, these are the main limitations of the logistic regression model. In this class, I explain the concept of the logistic regression. So, it is a statistical method for analyzing and predicting the outcomes of a binary event. And I have explained how the sigmoid function can be considered for this classification. And you, you can see the difference between the logistic regression and the linear regression models. So, let me stop here today. Thank you.